Welcome back to Healthy Home. So today I want to talk about this book called Work in the Roots because it's getting to the root of African-American herbalism, which I think is really important, especially this month, even though every month is Black History Month, not the shortest month of the year, but a lot of families do decide to look more at some of the historical books. And so if you are an herbalist, your family is getting into herbs, I think this is a perfect addition to add to your library. It has over 350 pages and in the back it has a section of glossary of different cultural terms and also some medicinal properties or medicinal terms in here it has an index of some images it has the medicine so it has like a reference list of different medicines in here a little bit of information about some of the benefits and some preparations so i think that that's really cool and these are things that you know traditionally we use in the americas i'll read the back african-american traditional medicine is an american classic that emerged out of the necessity of its people to survive it began with the healing knowledge brought with the african captives on the slave ships later merged with Native American, European, and other healing traditions to become a full-fledged body of medicinal practices that has lasted in various forms down to the present day. So this is the result of first-hand interviews, conversations, and um, apprenticeships conducted and experienced by the author Michelle E. Lee over years of living and studying in the rural South and in the West Coast regions of the United States. So. This is a really nice book. So as you can see, they have interviews in the book. And so that's the first part. You get to see the faces, which I love. And their stories and she keeps the dialect and everything there. So you really get a full glimpse and understanding. And it's like, you know, you really get to know a little bit and become family with everybody in the book. I haven't read this much yet. I went straight into the herbs. So I did a class and I had a Denise. She was there and she said something about sweet oil when I was talking about oil that you can use for ear infections. And so we were talking about the same thing, but I had never heard the term sweet oil. Well, that was in here. So when I saw that, that made me smile. And so it has a lot of other things in here. Look at her in front of all her herbs or candles I'm not sure what that is but we have chapter 5 preventative health care it's a real thick book definitely worth its money you'll see a lot of herbs repeated a lot of times like sassafras and sarsaparilla and those herbs I learned from listening to lectures with Dr. Leila Africa and so it's nice to know where that comes from and that's just herbs that we've used for so long so it tells you sassafras tea, how to even pick it, um, circulation tonics to sweat out cold, store bought cures. So I think this is a wonderful book, Constipation. So you won't get pictures in here. And I would say you have to have a little bit of work and knowledge to know how to do some of these things. You may not. I think the directions are pretty clear, but if you never practice herbalism or you never did an herbal preparation before, you may need to watch a demonstration or something like that but if you want to know you know where some of our traditional or cultural habits come from i see in here comfrey wormwood there are some herbs in here that are not what we traditionally use as a community or as a people and when they do have some in here they list that this is not traditionally used by the african-american population or however they say it i don't see any examples of that right now but they do have some in here um so they have some additions of some things that are not traditionally used so we have blue cohosh bone set and you see there is a picture you know a couple of pictures when it goes into the herbal reference but really thick book there's a section in here that i had to skip through it's a, it's a real small section but if you're a biblical herbalist like me you kind of get used to flipping over certain sections in there because that's one of the things trying to find like a biblical book or curriculum you have to kind of gloss over a lot of things but this section was from page 342 to 350 so it's a small section 
so it's not most of the book so i'm okay with it and i'm okay recommending this book even though when you see that section in there you know that i don't i don't mess with that i don't deal with that we have but. in here clay or chalk red or white also ingest ingested and used as a poultice or salve so clay has been used internally and externally as a healing medicine for thousands of years in African American healing traditions, eating clay is a tradition brought directly from Africa. So I love that it does give some elements of African a holistic help too, because that's one of the main branches that I love to study, but there isn't as much talked about or as much information out there about it. And I love how it mentions how we merged um, how we merged some parts of our knowledge with the cultures that are around us native american european because also when i practice herbalism i include those other different bits and pieces from all the different traditions i think you get a well-rounded knowledge bank from doing that and also chinese medicine um i incorporate as well so i think that from learning from all these traditions you put all of the information together and you have a holistic learning experience so definitely we would recommend this book and i'll have the links and everything down below and i'll also link the other video where i showed my books for beginners intermediate and advanced so make sure you check that one out if you are here to the end thank you for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one bye